Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and this video, by the way, there are many more on my channel interesting content that will definitely interest you. Thank you all for your attention, do not forget to subscribe, like and leave comments, enjoy your viewing, thank you for your attention. Power Girl Number 11 Power Girl's life has been torn apart, and the last thing she needs is to find out that one of her closest allies is now one of her deadliest enemies. But, we're sorry to say, that's exactly what Satana has managed to serve up. Power Girl engages Ultra Humanite after he has possessed Terra's body. Power Girl is stronger but Humanite threatens to bring the whole city down. Power Girl is willing to let him take over her body if he leaves New York City and Terra alone, but Ultra Humanite has decided he actually likes his new body's abilities. Using Terra's Geokinesis, he buries Power Girl underground. He believes he has already won, but Power Girl digs her way out of her grave and tackles him. Before he has the chance to unleash Terra's powers again, Power Girl drags him far away from New York City and hurls herself and him in the Atlantic Ocean. Ultra Humanite can still hit her with a submarine volcanic eruption, though, so she flies him high until he passes out due to a lack of oxygen. Then she scans New York in search of Satana. Power Girl barges into Satana's lair. The villainess starts mocking her. But Power Girl is not in the mood to put up with taunts, and cuts off both her chattering and her left arm with a precise blast of heat vision. When Satana starts yelling, Power Girl states she can get her arm reattached after disclosing Terra's location. Kara breaks Atli out of the storage room where she had been locked. Both girls hug each other. Atlee's brain is still in Ultra Humanite's injured and half-burned body, but she tells her people in Strata can help. Carrying both Terra and Ultra Humanite, Power Girl blasts her way to Strata. Right when they are arriving in the subterranean city, Ultra Humanite comes to and attacks both girls. However, Terra tells her race has amazing cloning facilities, so Power Girl doesn't need to hold back out of fear to hurt her body. Power Girl cuts loose, pummels Ultra Humanite back into unconsciousness, and then she meets Stratus Chief Physician, Orla. Hours later, Orla has cloned new bodies for both, Terra and Ultra Humanite. Gerard Shugel has been given his human body back, and Orla has made sure that he is healthy this time. Kara appreciates Orla's kindness and is fascinated with Strata. Once Atli has been completely restored, she describes how she was ambushed, operated on while she was awake and dumped in some mental hospital where nobody knew who she was. Afterwards, Power Girl meets Ultra Humanite. Power Girl confirms he is now healed, and Orla is going to wipe out all knowledge of Stratra and her secret identity from his memory, but he has now a second chance. She even offers to help him start out his new life by hiring him, but Gerard declines. After she leaves, though, Gerard mutters he still hates her and desires for revenge. Somewhere else, Satana has got her arm replaced with a leopard's limb and decides to arrange a meeting with Dr. Sivana. She's willing to indulge his desires for the revenge's sake.
enjoyed the video, don't forget that on channel there is a huge amount of interesting content, that is waiting for you to watch them, and soon I will make many more cool and interesting videos, so do not miss the more activity the more I will try releases your favorite videos, do not forget to subscribe, like and leave comments, thanks for your attention.